Welcome guys, let us open the ANSYS workbench. From this analysis system, select the static structural system. Right click and create the geometry using this design modeler. Select XY plane and start sketching. Make the plane normal to us. Change the units to millimeters. The rectangle is having dimension of 100 mm. In our case, it's not rectangle; it's a square. So we can give constraint as equal length. This line and this line are having equal length. Now we have to create a small hole inside that plate. Draw a circle. And give the dimension of the circle as 10 mm. Diameter is 10 mm. Then make the circle uh, center to this uh, plate. So for that give dimension as 50 mm from the base and 50 mm from this left hand side. So now the circle is in center. Okay, now uh, create an extrude. Select this geometry and give extrusion dimension as 10 mm. And now the geometry has been treated successfully. And now close the design modeler. And before working, let us save this file as uh, your desired name, the location where you desire. Okay, now I am double clicking the model where we have to create the mesh and give the boundary conditions. Okay, let's give the element size as 2mm. Okay, now the mesh has been created. So now we have to give the boundary conditions. In the X positive side, let us apply that load. Click that surface and here you have to click right click and insert force we have to apply a force of 1000 newton if you want to change the direction you can click here and give apply and we have to fix another side here so for that uh, click this surface actually we need to select this surface so we can use this option to select the surface what we need and right click here and insert and give a fixed support so we have give fixed support here and we have applied some force here okay. and then uh, the solution we need is deformation and also the one measure stress okay now we can solve the problem okay we have got the results the total deformation as uh, we given the fixed side the deformation is very less and in the side where we have applied load we, are, we can see the maximum deformation and the stress is more in the place where the hole is located and we can also see the values the maximum stress value is 3 megapascals and the minimum value is here and uh, this is the average value and we can also view the same for deformation the maximum deformation is 
5 mm, 5 into the power of minus 4 mm, and uh, the minimum deformation is 0, where we have fixed the geometry. We can also see that as an animation. Okay, now if you want to uh, do the same analysis for different size of holes, we can do one thing. Uh, we have to know what results we know, result we want to have. So we want the stress value that is maximum stress. So in the equivalent stress, there is a maximum result that is plotted here. Let us click this small uh, square icon here. So if you click that, that will be set as a parameter. So this parameter that is a maximum stress parameter is set as output parameter and we have to set the diameter of the hole as input parameter for that close this window and open the geometry we can observe that the output parameter is set so in the xy plane we have created the sketch so in this sketch we have given the diameter of the hole as 10 mm so click here and give a name that is the diameter of hole So now this diameter is given as an input parameter. So we can see that an input parameter is given and an output parameter is taken out. So this uh, is useful if you want to do the same analysis for different dimensions or different conditions with the same set of other boundary conditions. So let's do that. Uh, now we have set the parameters. The diameter is initially that is 10 mm. So let us uh, have a 20 mm, 30 mm, 40 mm and 50 mm. So we have different diameters and uh, we have to retain the data so as to uh, see the results later. So if you click update the results for all uh, all these data that means uh, the results for all the diameters which have been changed that will be plotted here that will be printed here that is the equal stress that is the maximum equal stress we need. Okay, now the opens have almost solved all the uh, design points that you need. It has been solved. It has solved the problem for 10, 20, 30, 14, 50 mm diameter holes. So we can see the results of all those things. We can, by default, the diameter is given as 10 mm. Uh, if you want to see the results of uh, results of a uh, 50 mm diameter hole, I have to click this particular thing and. Uh, give this option that is set as current if you set this as current so now this uh, design point 4 is set as current so if you open that uh, analysis systems uh, the 50 mm diameter hole will be visible and the results for the same can be uh, viewed let me show you the results okay as you said now you can see the results of the uh, 50 mm hole uh, plate so that is the thing that we have set in the design table. So if you want to see the result of any other particular uh, design point, you can click that point and right click and set this point as uh, current. So now what we have to do is this is a very beautiful option in this ANSYS work. Otherwise we need to change the geometry time and again and we have to get the results. So once getting all these results, we can export these results using an option called uh, export table as csv so in the desktop i am writing that that is whole okay now i have saved that uh, file so if i go to my desktop or uh, where i have saved that file i can find the csv file that i have saved so now I am opening that file. In that Excel file or that in that CSV file, we can we can get the results what we have given. That means the input parameter as well as the output parameter. Okay, as we have defined this P1 is the equivalent stress or the equivalent maximum stress, and P2 is the diameter that we have given. So 
these things are not needed for us okay so this diameter is in the unit of mm and this equivalent distance is in the unit of mega pascals so for 10 mm diameter core the stress is 3.1 mega pascals and for 50 mm diameter core the maximum stress is 5.06 mega pascals it means that the if the diameter is getting increased the maximum stress is also getting increased